Hey guys, it's me. So, I really, really wanted to be something cool for Halloween this year. I thought that it would be really fun to be a fortune teller gypsy. So, I thought that I would show you guys how I got this look here. So, if you are planning on being something similar, then take a look at my tutorial and see if maybe this will work for your Halloween costume. I think that it came out pretty good. So, if you want to see how I achieved this look, then keep watching. So, hey guys, I'm Vienna with no makeup on. So. I am going to start by just clipping my bangs out of my way. Then I'm just going to use a little sample of this Smashbox primer. I'm not a big fan of it, but it's all I have, so I'm going to put that all over. Then I'm just going to use my Urban Decay Eden Sin. I don't remember which one, but I'm putting that all over my lids. Then I'm just going to use my Milani Brow Fix, and I'm actually going to use both colors. Usually I just use the top color, but I'm going to use both colors for this just to make them a little bit darker and a little bit more dramatic because this is a gypsy fortune teller look. And then I'm just going to set them with the Milani Brow Wax thing, pencil, I don't know. Then I'm going to use my Revlon Colorstay foundation and I am just going to apply that all over my face with my Real Techniques face brush and yeah. Just gonna put that all over my face. Nothing special here. <laughs> Hold on, I forgot to get something. Espy's like, what are you doing? Okay, then I'm just going to use my Maybelline Fit Me Concealer, and I'm just going to put that on my under eyes and on a couple of blemishes, and just blend that out with my finger. Then I'm just going to actually set that with my Stay Matte Powder by uh, Rimmel, <laughs> and I'm going to use a Baby Little Travel Eco Tools brush, and I'm just going to set all of my makeup with that little brush there. Then I'm going to take some tape and I am actually going to put that underneath my eyes just so that it creates a crisper line when I apply my eyeshadow. I don't really like doing this because it's so uncomfortable when you're doing your makeup, but I mean, what are you going to do? So then I am just going to take my Soul Mattes palette by Pure and I'm going to use the Alter Ego, my favorite shade in this palette. And I'm just going to use a random e.l.f. eyeshadow brush and I'm just going to put that all over my eyelid area. And oh my god, that tape was seriously so uncomfortable. I just, it was not fun. But yeah, I'm just going to put that all over my eyelids up into the crease. Then I'm going to take the companion shade and I'm just going to use that as my brow highlight. Nothing special there. Then I'm going to take my Celebration Limited Edition palette from IT Cosmetics and use the shade Sugar Plum. And I am going to use my favorite e.l.f. contour brush and I'm just going to smudge that all up in my crease area. I think these colors go really well together and they're super gypsy like. So then I'm just going to take the black matte coal shade and just put that in my outer V to get a little bit more dramaticness. Oh my god, yes, the tape coming off. So then I'm just going to take Alter Ego and put it underneath my eyes a little bit just to get a little bit more of a smudgy, smoky kind of look. And this look is really not supposed to be perfect, you guys. And then I'm just going to take my Jordana liner and put this in my waterline. But yeah, I really just wanted this look to be, you know, kind of messy and smudgy, just like a real fortune teller would. So then I'm taking what's left over of the shadow on that brush and just smudging that under there, that purpley black color. So then I'm taking my fave Kat Von D ink liner, and I am doing a super dramatic cat's eye because I just feel like if I was a fortune teller, I would have a super crazy dramatic cat's eyes so it takes me a little bit of time to draw that on there then I'm taking my subversion primer and just putting a teeny bit of that on my lids because I'm going to be using fake eyelashes and letting it dry letting it dry just gonna let my primer dry 
then I'm taking the false eyelashes and taking them out and oh my god I messed up my nail I seriously painted that nail like four times so then I'm taking the little glue that comes with it and just gluing a couple of little gems on my forehead they, these gems I got out of a uh, like nail art kit that I bought off of Amazon so I mean you could probably go to Michaels or Hobby Lobby or something and find something just like these so then I'm taking my CK1 mascara and just putting a little bit of that on my lashes. Oh my god, who else was excited about this palette by Benefit? I'm using the Hoola shade and I'm just doing a little bit of contouring on my cheekbones. But seriously, when I saw that this palette was out, I had to get it because I've been wanting Hoola for so long and this palette was only like $36 and Hoola is like $30 just by itself. So then I'm taking Rockateur and I am just putting that as my blush and then using a big fluffy brush to kind of, you know, soften it and blend it all out. Oh my god, the eyelashes. I am not a pro. I, I want to emphasize that. Putting on these lashes was really, really not that easy for me. I got them at CVS. The only reason I bought these ones were because they came with glue and I didn't have any glue and they were big and dramatic. <laughs> so then I am just kind of taking some more eyeliner and drawing on where the eyelashes covered it up. Then I am just taking that CK1 mascara again and blending the lashes together. I don't know if it looks great, but you know, this is the first time in a long time. <laughs> and just using some of that CK1 on my underneath lashes and then cleaning up a little bit because some of it got underneath and just cleaning up with some more concealer and taking my hair down. And so I am totally finished with the eyes. Then I went ahead and changed into my gypsy wear and I am using the Revlon Stay Matte Balm in the Shameless shade and I just think this is perfect because that purpley color just totally looks so gypsy like. And then I got myself a pretty maroon scarf and just kind of put it around my head and so that is one look and then I got a maroon headband that I got at Forever 21 for like three dollars and just put that around my head so either one of those if you have one or the other you could totally use both different things then I got my fave Kendra Scott's that I got for my birthday this year from my mom and that completes the look I hope you guys really liked it I thought that it turned out super fun and I don't know kind of authentic I've never had my fortune told or anything but I would totally love to so yeah so that was my tutorial on how to be a gypsy fortune teller and if you guys like this video be sure to show some love to that like button down there and if you subscribe then you can be one of my gypsy kittens just like SB on over here and every single one of you counts. Thank you guys so much for watching and I hope that you really enjoyed this and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!